Um, we're going to, I want to see if you can help me with my objections and call calling and the condition in my seller. Uh, you can help me out with that. That'd be I like awesome. it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Just a second. Let me pull up my fake silo page. Okay. Right, okay. Beautiful. We got you here. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, Sir, I, I just want to know if you are the owner of one to three main street. Yes. Are you the owner? Okay. So um, I look and I find out your home in Silo. I just want to know if you are still interested in selling that property. Possibly, yeah. Who is this? My name is Candy. And okay, I what do you want, a, Candy? I want to see if you um interested in selling your home. Me and my partner are looking for properties in this location. Okay. Uh, w what's your company name? We don't have company name. We just work by ourselves. Okay. So you're buying. Okay. And we just buy. In How do you get my number? You have your home in Silo, sir. Okay. Uh, you have your phone number here. That's mm -hmm. why I'm calling you. Okay. i calling you in a good time. Yeah, it's a good time. Okay. So it's okay. Uh, you have time to talk about the, uh, your home. What you can tell me about your home. Yeah. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath mm -hmm. uh, ranch style. And as you can see from the pictures, it looks decent, right? Where I got. Beautiful home. You're taking care of good at that home. Um, this one, it used to be a rental. It's kind of in the front yard. looks kind of messy on the pictures. So I imagine for my experience, it maybe is a rental or was a rental. Uh, no, it was never a rental property. It's not rental. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because it looks kind of messy on the front. Um, but also I noticed on the silo page that your home is being up for sale for 115 days. Um, can you tell me what happened? You received offers? Um, what uh, happened? What has been so long? I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't think I've gotten the right offer yet. What, um, what is the price that you need? Uh, the full asking price. According with Zillow, 150 days, um, seems to me like that price is not working. So you're willing to lower your price if we decide to buy a cat, buy uh, your home for cash? Okay, sure. What be the number um, they, they be okay with you? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one calling me. Yes, I understand that, sir. Um, but the world, we are serious buyers, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I'm... Serious, well, Candy, if you're not... serious, give me an offer. Um, I need to see the property first, sir. Okay. So to talk about that, you know, it's that I don't know, you understand. We, I, I need to see it. I had to feel it. I had, I need to touch um and see around, you know, the property, and uh, to be able to start talking about numbers. I cannot use uh, give you a number like that. Okay. So okay. um, you think it's okay that we make a plan to get together and meet you in the property and talk about numbers sure okay um what what i can say for sorry um, i mean i'm here all day so uh you can come here uh this evening or you come here in the morning i think we're gonna i need to talk to my partner so we're gonna get together and um and i need to talk to him so he is the one actually the one who's gonna be going to the property to talk to you okay. and uh and hopefully um um, um hopefully we get we be able to talk numbers but before we do that um when he goes over there we're gonna spend maybe what like 40 minutes one hour uh talking with you what we want to know we don't want to waste your time we don't want to waste our time um you can you can confirm it that when we're there you can um take a, a decision um when we go see your property just yeah, to be sure i mean i can make a decision sure okay perfect so um i think this is gonna uh work out um you the one um you the you the one who take the decisions on the home or you have your wife you yep, know i'm the only owner you're gonna be the only one okay yep. perfect so i think uh, um let me talk to my partner and um um i guess we're gonna see you there um i'm gonna confirm with you uh through text uh if it's okay with you and give you the time and the day. Is okay with you? Sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll All give right, you a call later. You. Okay. Bye. All okay. right, Candy. How do you think you did? Um, I think I start good. Um, I got um I I wanna I wanna just cut my mm's and my you know, um I wanna be more secure. But yeah, I think I got lost in the middle. 
I think you got a little lost too. So remember the last conversation I had about what you needed to start doing? Uh, yes. Uh, the to like what I got here. The condition of my seller, no? Yes. But also I said one very important part. I said you're way too nice. And because you're way oh. too nice, you, you just want to have a nice conversation, which is just how you are as a general person. Okay. Nothing bad about you. But the issue with that is we had a nice little convo and we never mentioned if I was willing to go off the price or not. You never tested me or where I was at. You could have completely done an appointment and I just would have wasted your time. And you're way too nice to just like X that out. And I'm the complete yeah. opposite. I'm a nice guy, but when it comes to like business, like my friends and I'm like, I'm, I'm sweet, right? I could talk all day, old ladies. Yeah. But like when I'm talking to a young uh, person like you, you know, I ain't going to be like, like, especially with business, I ain't going to be like super like, like sweet and to the point, like sweet and long. Like I'm to the point. Okay. Like you guys see me do my live calls. I'm like, tell me about the house. Why is it? Why is it selling? Is this thing, is there a problem with this thing? Okay. I mean, if I got to buy this, it's going to be around this. And if the reason is because that if the listing price right here is $150,000, let me know if everyone's following me. 150 grand is the listing price on okay. a Zillow. I got to have an MAO of at least 70% of that. So that's 105,000 would be my MAO. Let's say roughly, I want to get this under contract for 90. I get $50,000 reductions all day, every day. No issue at all. I'm going to say, my partner is probably closer to 120. Do I want to get a contract for 120? No way. I want 105. I want 90. Heck, even at 95, I make 10, 10 grand, right? Uh -huh. So if he's willing to go from 150 to 120, I know in person I can probably get him down even more. But if he's not even, if he's only willing to go down five grand over the phone, I know That's in no person point. he won't even go down at all. And I hate to tell you, I used to be a lot like you too. This game has bittered me, I have to say. I don't know if I can say it the right way. I've turned to a bitter old man with the amount of <laughs> combos I've had with sellers after thousands and thousands of deals. I'm like, if you're not willing to go five grand, I'm wasting my time. And from the amount of appointments I've had just wasting my time driving hours and hours and hours, I figured out a pretty fast system to figure out if it's going to be a deal or not. And number, four, number one, first and foremost, I got to pull the motivation out of a person. Okay. And so I know, I know I, it makes it seem like I magically can pull motivation and I know exactly what to say all the time. It's just magic. It's like butter. But I do it with super precise questioning. And so the one question you never said was like, why do you want to sell the house? You never went into my motivation. You know what? I, and I noticed that by the end. So I was I was thinking, how I go back to it? I can't because I, I was already making the appointment. So I was like, how I go back to the well, Let's go down the list, Candy. Motivation was missing, right? You touched on condition. But you never talked about kitchen. You never talked about any of that stuff, right? No. Nope. You never talked about that. So MC was never talked about. MCT. What's T? Time frame. Was that ever talked about? When do I want to get out of the house? No. No. MC MCT right. was never talked about. And really price was kind of talked about, but you never really <laughs> You kind of asked me what I do with price. <laughs> and I, I like you never really tested me on it. You, no. Would you budge on that if it was Back. if it's the offer's right right i'm just i'm casually just pushing you back and you're too nice you're like okay i won't mess with it well like you know before you know they trained me to talk with the agents i was really mean with the agents i was Andy, mean. i'm simple with my script it's m c t p you're yeah. being too nice all right you're doing c a n d y -A d y e n d y m c t p that's it Get the MCTP and get out of there. All okay. right. That's why the I... shorter your conversations, the more sellers you get to talk to. And you ain't getting to 6,000 conversations you know by, what? by doing a the, this every single time. And so you got to really guard your time because as a seller, I will steal all of your time. Okay. I'll do it. I, I'll be, I don't care. I only care about what, myself. You, you know what? I care about yourself too. I know. It's what I've been doing all week. I, I, I was so happy because I finished my 200 listing. I, I've been having, 200 yeah, with, really with nice all, conversations with, market with agents you got to do it but i ain't teaching you how to do that no 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 no. i don't talk with agents anymore what i what i'm saying is i've been talking to people but i know being you know i've been talking i've been having really nice conversations i guess oh my god so um heck i i talked to my mom for like an hour and a half today just over coffee like i can i can i could talk the talk but when it comes to making money i'm very short all right. And you have to understand that fine line because this is a business yeah. and there is rapport to be, be played on that, but you got to really see if it's a deal or not. And once you can figure out that there is some motivation, 
I can, if I said, I got to get rid of this thing, I'm sick of it. This thing's been listed and you really pull the motivation. Hey, this thing's going to be auctioned off in like two months. Then we can start talking the talk and being nice and sweet. But yeah. I've been given the motivation. And what's the first question you have to figure out? What's the are first you, M? Motivation. Motivation. Are you Not ready that. to sell your home? You're wasting your time. And there's too many nice people. And I used to be the nice guy. I got bittered. And I get straight to the point. And that's why I can ran through the cold calls I do and get deals on the live streams. Because I just get rid of the people that aren't good deals. And I have to tell you, sometimes I'm like, this ain't a deal. You know, I, I've talked to my partner. If it's all cash, he's at one. He's at 110. I'm like, oh, he ain't going to say yes. And I get a, well, I, I can do that. And I'm like, okay. Wow. And okay. you said, I got hours and hours, hundreds of hours of live calls. Like you go through them. Like I, there's plenty of those that happen, right? And heck, more people have spent more time watching me do live calls than they do actually do live calling, which is embarrassing <laughs> in my opinion. But MCTP. I'm telling okay. you because you have more combos, you'll do a lot better. All right. Okie dokie. So thank you so I'm much. Back on. If I don't get MCTP, I, I remember you from the last two, now three actually. <laughs> I think I, did, I practice all week. I think I did worse today than last no, week. No, no, you, you're doing better. Trust me. You're you're a lot shorter this time than last time. I want mm -hmm. you to like clearly I, I got an identical memory so i know this uh -huh. from the first time we talked you did the whole flower bed situation remember that one <laughs> you don't you don't want to get into that one all right no no more flowers no that was like sure. crazy long you, got, you crazy cut long. it in half this time which is great okay we just got to cut in half again so you okay. are improving i want you to know this okay the next time we talk i'm throwing you off the nest you're gonna start flying okay okay Yes, idea. You're okay. doing good, Candy. I want you to understand. You do you understand? You are way better than last time. All right. Okay. You just got to keep improving. Keep and going. if you keep this rate up by doubling your your skills every week, you're, you're going to be insane level. I just started wholesaling, man. Probably like two and a half months ago. I did a cold call this morning with my girlfriend, but she said sometimes I sound like a robot because I'm reading off script sometimes. So yeah. I'm just seeing if you could uh, you can work with me, man. Is do a practice cold call play and tell me tell me what. Uh, What's my issues or, you know, just let me know what's going okay, on. Okay, first and foremost, do you understand that when I'm talking to you right now, you don't sound like a robot, you sound like a regular person? Yeah. Because you're talking from the heart. Right. We're going to use okay. that for your calls. All right, let, let's see what you got. All right, let's do it, brother. Um, just before we start, what's the, what's the ARV? You got to guess that, not me. Let's call it 220. 220. Okay, right on, brother. All right. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, hello. I'm looking for Zach. This is him. Hey, Zach. This is Carlos. I know this call is random. I was calling about your property I believe you own on 123 Main Street. Okay. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to see if you'd consider an offering your property there. Maybe. Who is this? What do you want? So this is Carlos, brother. Uh, I'm a local home buyer in the area, and right now I'm looking for, for uh, houses to purchase, and that's why I was trying to see if you'd consider an offer on, on your property there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay, right on, Zach. Well, um, I would like to get you a price that you would like, but um, I would have to find out some information. Can you tell me, have you done any major remodeling to the kitchen and bathroom in the last five years? All right, Charlie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you off right now. All right. Okay. First and foremost, how long have you been dating your girlfriend for? Uh, shoot, bro. Like two and a half years going on. Two and a half years. So I, I think she knows you better than probably a lot of people. She spent a lot of time with you, right? She knows your mannerism. Yeah. She knows what gets you mad, what doesn't get you mad, what you like, what you don't like. If she can sense that you're not normally who you are, the the, the Carlo she likes and yeah. knows, that, that's a big sign, all right? And okay. so five seconds in, and I want you to go watch this on the YouTube channel right after. Yeah. Watch the girlfriend if you want. She'll point it out. She's probably better than anyone pointing out uh, this. You went from friendly Carlos to robot Carlos really instantly, yeah. instantly. Okay. Right. Yeah. And what did I tell yeah. you from this spot? Why you sounded normal to me? Because you were talking from the heart. You yeah. sound like a regular dude. Okay. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to roast you, but you did not use my script. I can tell very fast. Okay. The Got reason you. why I use my script is because my script is so simple that anyone can say it. You're acting like Carlos, the hedge fund investment man with, with, that's wearing uh, a suit. Yeah. And are you comfortable wearing a suit? I ain't comfortable okay. wearing a suit. I feel like the, the, the tie chokes me. Okay. My script is really simple. Hey, this is Carlos. Are you the owner of this house? And yeah. are you interested in selling it? That is it. Okay. Hey, me and my partner, Charlie, we're looking to buy a couple houses for cash. Are you looking to sell it? Oh, who do you, what do you want? We're, we're just looking to buy a couple houses for cash. What are you going to do with the house? I don't know. Maybe we buy them, rent it out. Maybe renovate them. Like it just, there's a lot of things we can do. I, I'm generally talking. That's the way I talk. I'm pretty simple. He's, 
watch my live calls. Anyone ever sees me off the street, I'm the same way, okay? So what, what I want you to know is let's replay it, but let's do it from the heart, okay? Charlie, from the heart, talk to me, but talk to me in a way where it's like, hey, are you the owner and are you looking to sell it? That is it. Not, can we get the right offer for you? Like, hey, not tell me about that. Like, give me the re renovation, the condition, the house. That's all so stupid. All right. Tell, hey, tell me about the house. How's the roof? Does it need any like fixing up or on it? Like, whatever. Car is it Charlie or Carlos? Uh, my name is Carlos. Carlos. Okay, cool. I don't know why it's Charlie. All right. So, Carlos, <laughs> have you ever bought a car? Yeah. Okay. When you bought someone's car, were you like, Oh, how's the, the 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 transmission on the uh, on the car? Is the fuel valve engaged in there? How's the intake on the fuel thing? No, you're probably yeah. like, is there any scratches on it? Is it running good? How many miles? Like you sounded normal. You don't sound like a robot off the strip trying to buy a car. It's like, why, why yeah. is this guy sounding so robotic trying to buy a car from me? Right? You're just regular. If I replace the word car with house, then it's, everyone flips their mind. I don't know why. You're, you're just like buying a car, man. It, you're nervous. Sometimes because you're afraid you're going to screw up the deal. If you don't yeah. get the deal, you don't get the deal, man. Like, that's it. So let's redo it. But I want you to talk from the heart, roughly using the script I have. All right? All right. All right. Let's Let it rip, man. All right. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey, hello. I'm looking for Zach. Yeah, th this is him. Hey, Zach. My name's Carlos. And I was talking about your property on 123 Main Street. Okay. What do you want? Okay, yeah. I just wanted to see if you were uh, if you were selling the property. No, I, I don't have it listed. Okay, sure. Well, um... I just wanted to see if you would be interested in the cash offer for that property. I mean, maybe I was thinking about it. Why are you asking me this? Okay. No, I'm just a local buyer in the area, and uh, I'm looking to buy some properties this year. So, okay. I mean, if you're looking to sell, well, I could help you out and see maybe if, we, if, uh, if we're right for each other, you know? Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, can I ask you a few questions about about your, your property so, we, so I can get you the best offer um, that will work out for you? Sure. Okay, right on, man. Uh, well, how's the how's the condition of the property? Have you done any? You any major, have you done any major upgrades to to the property at all, like in the kitchen, bathroom area? No. No. Okay, right on. And uh, what about the the painting and uh, the flooring? Have you done any upgrades to to that specific area of the house? No, not really. I bought the house in two thousand six, so I didn't really do anything with it since then okay so you have everything in the original condition then. oh yeah okay. okay right on zach and let's say if i was to get you an offer that, that you would like to that you would agree upon zach um how soon would you be looking to sell man uh i don't know i mean i i guess 45 days 45 days okay yeah well you know usually i i close i could close within 30 days 13 to 14 days so, I mean, 40 days, that'd be no issue for, for us. And um, besides that, well, I mean, why are you looking to sell? I mean, I'm just trying to move out. You know, I, I'd rather go to a different area. Different area? Oh, uh, what are you trying to go to? Uh, try to West Florida. It's a lot more peaceful than here. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's good. Okay, Zach. Well, I mean, uh, it, looks like the, it looks like homes in your area are going for around, with similar condition, original condition are going for about 140 would that work for you zach if we could get you 140 no no okay well what would would work for you zach not 140 that's way too low okay well keep in consideration zach i know it's it's pretty low but we pay all the closing costs Zach. also there's no real estate commissions so i mean you wouldn't have to list it on the market and also too i purchased property as is so you wouldn't have to do any repairs you know, you wouldn't have to do anything to the property. So for an offer like that, how much would you take, Zach? Um, I don't know. You got to give me a better offer. Okay. Well, let's, I mean, just let's say a magical number. Like, I know there, there's that number that every every person has in mind. What, what do you have in mind, Zach? I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you're the one calling me. Right. Right. Okay. Well, how about this, Zach? If we could, um, if I could come by, uh, if we could send an appointment and I could come by your house to, to check it out, you know, and, um, uh, it's condition or whatnot, we could I can make a better offer and I could also see what other houses are, are going for. And like that, you know, we could work on a price that you like and that would work for you to get you to move to West Florida. Then um we could we could agree to something. Okay. Perfect. Okay, right on Zach. Sounds good. I'll be in the area tomorrow, say around two o'clock. Would that work for you? Yeah, that works. Okay, right on, Zach. I'll uh, text you my info, and uh, we're scheduled tomorrow for two o'clock. All right, perfect. All right, thanks, Zach. See you there. All right, Carlos, that was amazing, dude. I uh, want your girlfriend to watch that and ask if 
Carlos version one or Carlos yeah. version two was the Carlos that she knows and likes, right? Right? Like, come on, yeah. man. Right? Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Like, like, you're, you're your regular self. You sound way more like yourself. Now, okay. the one thing I will tell you, of course, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect with it. But yeah. if you can remove the right ons and the ums and buts, you'd be good. The reason why okay. you're saying right on is because you're, let me tell you, because I used to do this. I used to say and wow. or but a lot. Now I still do it, but a lot less. And so you're saying right on because you're thinking of what to say next. It's subconscious. Mm -hmm. you, it's nothing you're doing wrong. It's a subconscious okay. thing that you are trying to think of what to say, but you're trying to fill in the words. And so I want you to consciously know that when you're saying it, because right now you probably didn't realize you were saying that. You probably, mm -hmm. is like invisible to yourself. When you talk, start, can have that in the back of your mind when you're talking to sellers and stuff, and you're going to figure out, you actually say that. And once you figure that out, it's like, hey, stop, stop that. Over about a month or two, it will be out of your vocabulary. It won't even be even a thought. And so that's, that's the only thing I could tell you, man. I, you eliminate that. You eliminate some of the, they're called filler words. Once you're conscious that you say that, it gets yeah. cut out. And that's like, it's something you got to practice with a little more. But you will sound if you eliminated that, you would be elite. You'd sound elite on it. You'd be great. The only on top of that thing is with watch my script, go to freelancing.com. Okay. I do let everybody know that when I'm cold calling, if you're interested, I get some info, I get out of there. And then I, I and then I probe again on the offer and price after that. And once you start learning on there, I kind of do the partner, the the good do you know the good cop, bad cop? Yeah, yeah. I've seen videos with you. You didn't that. do that. You just threw a 140 out the window recklessly. Okay. Come on, That's you're in a fight. You just threw a punch recklessly without even protecting yourself. What happens if you don't protect yourself on a punch? You're going to get countered. Come on, you know how to fight, right? So you got to protect yourself. Say, hey, uh, you know, that's why you get off the phone, you get back and say, you have an excuse. Now you talk to your crazy partner, Zach, who said he wants to buy it for 140. Hey, I talked to Zach. He wanted to buy this thing around 140. Ah, I can never do that. Hey, I know he's crazy. I mean, what works for you? Oh, I have no idea. You're calling me, right? See, I, I did that. You got a little stuck there, which is fine. That's an objection. Yeah. I'm testing you. I'm seeing how you're acting. You reacted very well on it. What I would say in that situation is, okay, I mean, would you take a dollar for the property? No. And then you do the dollar bill method, go back and forth and volley. You were volleying really well. If you gave me two more volleys, I would have given you the offer though. And so mm. you did really good on it, man. Uh, there's always some improvement. If you hop back on next week, like kind of like Candy, if you saw the beginning with her, you'll get about 50% yeah. better and then 50% better then 50% better and you just, your skills keep going up, man. But I want you, I know, trust me, I hate watching myself on video, my voice, it's cringing to myself, but I want you to watch it and then see how much different you sound. Insane okay. difference, man. And people like you because you are you, not because you're robot Carlos. <laughs> they like Carlos, Carlos. So be that person, okay? Don't act like this is Zach when closing, because I'm a weirdo. Don't act like me. You're, you're not going to be good at being me. You're going to be good at being yourself. And so okay. once we improve the version of yourself on there, you do well, all right? Thank you, Zach. Appreciate you, brother. God bless all you. Right. Appreciate it.